In the early 1960s, the United States searched for a successor to the world's fastest spy plane. The Cold War demanded an aircraft that could fly higher, faster, and survive new Soviet defenses. Convair believed speed alone was no longer enough. The answer was something far more radical. The Convair Kingfish was designed to be invisible where speed failed. It combined extreme performance with the earliest ideas of stealth. Built to outrun missiles and confuse radar, it promised a new era of reconnaissance. And then, almost overnight, it disappeared. By the early 1960s, American aerial reconnaissance faced a growing crisis. High-altitude flights were no longer as safe as they once seemed. Soviet surface-to-air missiles had proven deadly and increasingly accurate. Speed alone was beginning to lose its protective edge. Intelligence planners feared the next shootdown was only a matter of time. A new solution was urgently needed. The Lockheed A-12 had already pushed boundaries. It could fly faster and higher than anything before it. But even that performance came with risks. Radar coverage across the Soviet Union was improving rapidly. Missile systems evolved faster than expected. Survivability could no longer rely on altitude and velocity alone. This shift forced a radical rethink. Instead of outrunning threats, aircraft would need to avoid detection entirely. Reducing radar visibility became a strategic priority. The idea was still experimental and poorly understood. Few designers had experience with it. But the stakes justified the risk. The CIA launched studies for a next-generation reconnaissance aircraft. It would need extreme speed, high altitude, and reduced radar signature. Traditional aircraft shapes were no longer acceptable. Every surface would matter. Radar reflections had to be controlled deliberately. This requirement reshaped the entire design process. Convair emerged as a serious contender. The company proposed an aircraft that looked nothing like conventional spy planes. Its design emphasized smooth lines and blended shapes. Angles were chosen to deflect radar energy. Speed remained essential, but stealth became equally important. This balance defined the Kingfish concept. From the beginning, the Kingfish represented a new philosophy. It was not just an evolution of existing aircraft. It was an attempt to redefine survivability. Engineers believed invisibility could succeed where speed might fail. The project pushed into unknown territory. The Kingfish design broke sharply from traditional aircraft forms. Instead of straight lines and sharp angles, it featured smooth, curved surfaces. These shapes were chosen to scatter radar waves rather than reflect them directly. Engineers carefully studied how radar energy behaved across the airframe. Every curve served a defensive purpose. Aesthetics were irrelevant compared to survivability. Engine placement was equally unconventional. The Kingfish used buried inlets to shield engine faces from radar. Airflow had to be carefully managed to maintain performance at extreme speeds. This balancing act was technically demanding. Small design errors could cripple efficiency. Precision became essential at every stage. Materials posed another challenge. High-speed flight still generated intense heat. Conventional aluminum alloys were inadequate. Advanced metals and coatings were considered to manage thermal stress. Some solutions were experimental and unproven. Manufacturing such an aircraft would test industry limits. Stealth considerations extended beyond shape alone. Surface treatments were explored to absorb radar energy. Panel alignment and seam control became critical. Even small imperfections could increase detectability. Maintenance requirements grew more complex as a result. Stealth demanded constant discipline. Despite its stealth focus, performance remained extreme. The Kingfish was designed to exceed Mach 3. High-altitude cruise was central to its mission. Speed still provided a layer of protection. Stealth was meant to reduce engagement opportunities altogether. Together, they formed a layered defense. 
This combination made the Kingfish revolutionary. No operational aircraft had ever attempted it. Designers were forced to invent new methods from scratch. Testing relied heavily on theory and wind tunnel data. Confidence grew within the program, but proof would require commitment. As the Kingfish concept matured, it entered direct competition with Lockheed. The CIA was searching for a successor to existing reconnaissance platforms. Speed alone was no longer the deciding factor. Survivability against Soviet air defenses had become critical. Two radically different philosophies emerged. Only one would be chosen. Lockheed proposed what would become the Lockheed A-12 Blackbird. It focused on extreme speed and altitude with a more conventional approach to stealth. The design emphasized sharp edges and chins to reduce radar signature. Unlike the Kingfish, it was already advancing rapidly toward prototype stage. This gave Lockheed a critical advantage. Time mattered as much as innovation. The CIA conducted detailed evaluations of both aircraft. Radar cross-section estimates were compared extensively. Performance projections were scrutinized under worst-case scenarios. Risk assessments favored designs closer to proven technology. The Kingfish appeared promising but uncertain. Confidence in execution became a deciding factor. Schedule pressure weighed heavily on the decision. Intelligence requirements were immediate and unforgiving. Delays could mean strategic blindness. Lockheed's design promised earlier operational readiness. Convair's concept required more experimental development. That difference proved decisive. There were also concerns about complexity. The Kingfish relied heavily on untested stealth concepts. Manufacturing tolerances would be extremely demanding. Maintenance requirements were difficult to predict. The CIA feared operational fragility. Reliability could not be compromised. In the end, the CIA selected Lockheed's design. The Kingfish was eliminated despite its advanced ideas. The decision was pragmatic rather than visionary. Performance on paper mattered less than confidence in delivery. The Blackbird lineage would move forward. The Kingfish was quietly set aside. No prototype was ever constructed. This data was archived and classified. Public awareness faded quickly. Yet its influence did not vanish. The story was far from over. Although the Kingfish was rejected, its ideas did not disappear. Much of its research was quietly absorbed into classified programs. Engineers documented radar reduction techniques in detail. Those findings influenced future stealth studies. Nothing developed at this level was ever truly wasted. The aircraft simply vanished from public view. Stealth, once a secondary concern, slowly became dominant. Radar systems grew more capable and widespread. Speed alone could no longer guarantee survival. Designers began prioritizing detectability over raw performance. The Kingfish had anticipated this shift. It was thinking several decades ahead. Convair's approach was especially significant. Smooth curvature and blended shapes contrasted with later angular stealth aircraft. This showed there was no single solution to radar evasion. Different frequencies demanded different strategies. Kingfish explored paths others would abandon or revisit later. Its data broadened understanding. The program also revealed the limits of early stealth. Manufacturing precision required unprecedented accuracy. Maintenance would have been extremely demanding. Small surface flaws could compromise the entire concept. Operational practicality remained uncertain. These lessons proved invaluable. Years later, stealth aircraft would finally mature. Advances in computing allowed precise radar modeling. Material science caught up with theory. Aircraft like the F-117 and B-2 benefited from earlier failures. Kingfish helped define what not to do. Its influence was indirect but real. Secrecy ensured the aircraft remained obscure. 
For decades, only fragments of information surfaced. Declassification came slowly and incompletely. The kingfish never gained public recognition. Its role stayed hidden behind more famous aircraft. History favored those that flew. Today, the kingfish is remembered as a conceptual bridge. It linked speed-dominated reconnaissance with true stealth aviation. Few designs mark such a clear transition. It belonged to a moment of uncertainty and experimentation. That made it vulnerable, but also profoundly important. The Convair Kingfish was never meant to be seen by the public. It was designed for a world that existed only in classified briefings. A world where speed was no longer enough to survive. Engineers understood that invisibility would decide the future. The Kingfish embodied that realization. It was built for a new kind of war. This cancellation was not a failure of imagination. In many ways, it was too early. Technology had not yet caught up with the concept. Manufacturing precision was still limited. Radar science was incomplete. The idea was sound, but the error was wrong. Unlike aircraft that fail in flight, the Kingfish failed in silence. No prouteup crashed. No pilot risked their life. The aircraft simply faded into classified archives. Its absence left no scars. Only ideas remained behind closed doors. Those ideas would resurface years later. Stealth would become the defining trait of modern air power. Aircraft would prioritize being unseen over being unstoppable. The Kingfish had already explored that logic. It pointed toward a future no one was ready to commit to. History would eventually prove it right. The Blackbird lineage overshadowed the Kingfish completely. Speed and altitude captured public imagination. Stealth remained invisible by definition. Yet both philosophies were responses to the same threat. One succeeded immediately. The other waited patiently. Today, the Kingfish stands as a ghost of transition. It represents a moment when aviation stood at a crossroads. Designers questioned everything they thought they knew. Some answers came quickly. Others took decades to surface. The Convair Kingfish remains one of the most important aircraft never built. It bridged two eras of reconnaissance. Its story is quiet, but its influence is profound. Not all revolutions arrive with noise. Some begin in secrecy and only reveal themselves long after they are gone.